So what am I going to reporting on today? After more than 20 years of operation, the Mulan attraction at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach has been removed. However, a new world's first attraction is going to be coming in for the 2020 season. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad the Ball, but both theme park news, first of all we've got some shout outs for you, so big shout outs go to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair, Beckjar 30 plays and Tom Berry. If you want a shout out in our next video for the weekend, just comment down below a shout out and ask for it and I will give you your shout out. Secondly, you'll notice that we've got the old intro back before Halloween. That we're going to be using that for the next couple of months, just before we go into the 2020 season. So this intro is like a roundup intro for the 2019 season. So this is just to round off that season. And then we're going to use the new green screen intro for the 2020 season. So uh, that will be ready for the start of next season in January. Um, and basically this intro is just going to be used until the end of 2019. So I hope you guys are really excited for the new intro next year. Uh, you know, the channel's really grown so much over this last year. And I feel like a new green screen intro is just perfect, uh, just to resemble uh, the change and to resemble the, the growth of the channel. So I hope you guys are really excited for that. Make sure you go check out our updates over the past few days. We've had updates from Slag Haran on their brand new Christmas event offerings, including the new 4D experience to Polar Express. Uh, we've had loads of updates over the past few days in general, Future Q Highland. We've got loads of updates coming over the next few days. We've had a lot of news uh, from a lot of different theme parks. We've still got some news updates to record today, uh, but uh, upload over today and the weekend, stuff like that. We've got updates from parks like Power Park in Finland. We've also got an update from Vina Prata in Austria on their brand new coaster track for 2020. So it's all going off. Uh, in the theme park industry and of course IAP is going to be coming up in a few weeks time so I'm going to have a mad, a mad few uh, days in a row in November so on November 14th I'm going to the Globe, November 16th I believe it is I think I'm out to see a show and then November 19th will be IAPA so uh, busy few days on the channel so we're going to sort of round all of that up uh, get the all the announcements from IAPA up in one bulk of video like we did last year with 2018 IAPA. Obviously, uh, IAPA 2020, the Europe Expo is going to be in London at the end of September next year. So, fingers crossed, try and make it down to London for that. Uh, but I can't promise anything at this stage because it's not 2020 yet. Uh, but I'll try my best to get down to that to London for the IAPA Europe Expo. Try and get some interviews with some manufacturers, etc. Uh, present my presenting skills that you've all seen from past interviews. We've done interviews with your dungeon, with Morgs. Uh, so we've had plenty of interview experience this year, so that should come in handy for next year. So let's go with this theme park news update. Like I said, we've got more to come over the next couple of days. But let's start with this one from Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Now this is an update on a brand new attraction coming to the park for the 2020 season. Now this is replacing their Mulan attraction, which is a Mac Rauschabahn. Uh, it's like a caterpillar type ride, it's a classic attraction. It's been at the park for more than 20 years and it's being removed and it's been closed to the public. However, not for nothing. We've got a brand new world's first attraction costing £500,000 opening at the park for the 2020 season. Now this is themed to planes. We have a couple of concept images that we found on a news article about this and all the information that you're going to hear about while seeing the concept images are from that news article. So the stats then uh, from the news article, uh, if you're wondering what news article it is by the way, uh, it's the Great Yarmouth Mercury uh, online article. So the information from that reads as follows, a white local ride is the first of its kind in the world is set to replace a popular caterpillar themed attraction at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, or just Pleasure Beach as it says on there. Now, of course, like I said, last week it was announced that Mulan was being removed after more than 20 years. And now illustrations provide a glimpse of what the new ride, the replacement ride, will look like. An artist's impression showing aeroplane-themed carriages controlled by users which circle around high in the air. Now, the managing director of the Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, Albert Jones, believes the ride will be welcomed by thrill-seekers who have long demanded more high-profile rides at the park. He said the ride is a world's first and is sure people will be really pleased with it. It allows them to control what they do on the ride, such as going upside down or spinning around. 
The industry is changing all the time, so it's important we strive to improve where we can. A number of theme park goers voiced their disappointment at the announced closure of the Mulan attraction. Um, you know, it's, it's a real shame because it's a family ride, it's a kid's ride, and also loads of people have had childhood memories on that ride. So it is going to be a shame that Mulan has closed, but I think this will bring a new generation of thrills me, for me personally. Um, now, of course, the ride closed on Sunday. If you're wondering where this Mulan ride is going, it's being shipped out to the Italian Rivera, where it'll be based for the winter. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just, it's an interesting thing, this all. So you can see on the concept already on your screen now, find out what that first image was just a look of the actual trains for the ride. Uh, but you can see there the, on screen already the big concept. It looks to me like... I think if you mix a one of those jumping claws, the claws of doom as they are on Relicose Tycoon, if you mix one of them with air race type seats, but the controls of Skyfly uh, from Gerslauer. So I think it's the style of a claws of doom ride, but it's replacing it's replaced by air race seats. But instead of being controlled spin, it's this it's the free spinning spin yourself control of a Ghost Last Skyfly, so it's kind of mixing three rides into one here. I'm not too sure, well they haven't announced what the manufacturer of the ride is. Uh, I can only imagine it's going to be someone like KMG, who do a lot of like permanent and fairground rides and temporary attractions. They do a mix of temporary and permanent rides and attractions, so I think KMG might be on this, but I could be wrong. Uh, it could be Ride Engineers Switzerland, it could be, it could be literally anyone, there's no uh, confirmation at all of who's manufacturing this ride so I am pretty excited to see what's going to happen with that one then so there we go so that's an update then on this world first attraction coming to Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach next year I'm going to go through more details when they get revealed uh, in the UK uh, 2020 Rise and Attractions analysis uh, that and the rest of them from Europe, the States, Asia and the rest of the world that will all be released in the new year, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. And so as well as that, um, in terms of the ride itself, I am very excited. Now we don't have a name for this, as well as the manufacturer, however I'm guessing all those details will be revealed come the new year. So those analysis videos for the next year's Rise and Attractions around the world, those few videos that I do, uh, they'll be released uh, just before the season starts, around February, March time. Uh, I was going to originally do it in January, but I thought more details might not be out by then, so I'm going to release it February, March time, around about then, just around about the usual start of the season. Um, of course, we are entering that final furlong now in the 2019 season, where the closed season blues are going to be dining up on us. But don't you worry, guys, we've got videos still to come all over the closed season, so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. But me personally, I'm really excited for this attraction. It's nice to see the bigger parks like Alton Towers and, stuff, and people like that in Chessington sort of taking a back seat with more family additions. And it's nice to see Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach and parks like this bringing new attractions. Obviously, we spoke about Southport Pleasureland and their brand new lease on the site for around 99 years. So we're excited to see new rides and attractions coming to Southport Pleasureland. Obviously, I'm sure Dreamland Margate is going to have some stuff for us leave in the future, so it should be exciting to hear stuff from all of that. For now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news and update. Again, special shout out to all the people that we shouted out at the beginning of the video. If you want to shout out, comment your uh, comment your shout out questions down below, and I'll give you a shout out in the next video tomorrow. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and theories on this. Do you like the style of ride? Did you expect this at all? And what do you think the name's going to be? Comment your thoughts and theories down below. Make sure you like this news update if you loved it. S subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys for more updates very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.